You made news the other day. I believe you were on your podcast. You were talking about Chet Holmgren. Somebody was talking about, I, I think it was your guy, Lefko. He was talking about Chet Holmgren, and you stopped him because he used the word phenomenon. You said you didn't want to hear about that all the time. Let's stop giving these guys these kind of accolades before they earn it. Elaborate on that for a second, because a lot of people wanted to hear what you had to say about him and today's big men. You know, in this era we live in today, a guy's coming with a lot of hype. And what? And listen, I'm guilty of it too. I'll show you all my good clips and I'll post it. You know, making me seem better than I am. You know, he's he's a good player, but listen, he's not he's not up there with the KD. He's not up there with the LeBrons. Will he? I say hell yes. At some point in his career, in two or three years, but right now, let's not put all this pressure on these kids. He's a good player. Let's just you know leave it at that. Are you talking about Chet Holmgren, Victor Wembanyama, or all of them? All of them. You know, they're, listen, it's only it's only one or two guys that came into the league right away and made an impact. You know, everybody else had to work. You know, again, uh, you, know, our, you know, our good friend, the late, great Kobe Bryant, as, as great as he was, it took him about maybe a year, two years to become the Black Mamba. So, listen, these guys are doing fabulous. I love that game. Victor Wimbledon had an unbelievable game last night. But let's not put too much pressure on this kid. He's a rookie. And I, I said last night, I stressed last night, even though they're not winning, as an individual, he has to continue to get better. Because at some point, when, you know, KD leaves and when LeBron leaves and when Giannis is get, gets over, older, he's going to be the future of the league. And hopefully by then, he's averaging 28, 30. And then we can say he's a phenomenon. So, you know, I, I just think we're putting a lot of, you know, pressure on, on these kids. My problem with what you're saying is, why are you so protective of them from, from the pressure? You came into the league, you had the pressure. LeBron came into the league, he had the pressure. MJ came into the league, he had the pressure. Olajuwon, Ewing, a whole bunch of people came into the league, whether they were big men or not. They had the pressure, y'all had to deal with it. Why sit up there and coddle these guys from that pressure? You want it, here it is. This is the pressure that comes along with it. What's wrong with that? Because I am the president of the Big Man Alliance, Joker is the vice president, and Joel Embiid is the treasurer. I will always protect my big guys. These guys are fabulous, but you know I'm 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 always trying to protect them. Even 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 when I criticize them, I'm just trying to give them information, you know, to protect them. These guys are fabulous players, and they continue to get better. But let's not put the oh, he's the greatest big man. Let's not put that on them right now. Give them time to, you know, develop. Because if you put that on them now mm -hmm. and they don't reach that, you're going to kill them. I'm going to kill them. Barkley's going to kill them. So I'm saying let them, let them earn it. Let them earn it before we, before we give them KD status. See, KD, is K, KD is KD because he's earned it. That's true. That's right? true. No but, question. He definitely has earned it. But let yeah. me ask you this question because I'm kind of shocked that you call them big men. Embiid's a big man. Jokic is a big man. Yes. Wimbledon is tall. Chet Holmgren is tall. Combined, they don't weigh as much as you. I mean, to me, they ain't big men. They just tall what? dudes. KD seven feet. He ain't a big dude. Why should they be considered a big dude? They just as skinny as him. I can't believe you of all people didn't pick up on the weight factor in all of this, the girth. Yeah, but my good friend Kevin Garnett said something interesting. He said, we're so focused on what it used to be. Mm. We need to focus on the now. And I, I kind of sat back because KG's a good friend of mine. Yeah, yes. good and I agree with him. So we don't have any big 350s anymore. This is what we have now. So this is what we have to, you know, look at. This is what we have to be proud of. So I'm going to embrace these guys. Uh, and then again, you know, me, big guys, four and five. You know, po power four. Mm -hmm. Not to stretch four. Right. Keep them over there with the guard. But the power <laughs> four, you know, the Zions and, and the fives. And guess what? Don't forget about my boy, Bowl Bowl. Bowl Bowl is there you coming. Go. Bo, 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 that's what we do. That's what we doing now. Bo, Bo is coming. Dex Johnson loves Bo, Oh, my Bo. God. Stop it. I just stop it. Just stop it. 